Hey, 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 it is your girl, Amy P, the reimbursement dietitian, here to simplify the reimbursement process for all registered dietitians and CNSs looking to accept insurance in your practice. And today I wanted to address a question I have been seeing a ton, and I always see a ton, in spite of all of the resources out there on this info. So let's break it down for you. So the question we are talking about today is, what is the frequency or the cadence in which you can utilize 97802, okay? 97802, the very definition of it is an initial assessment, okay? And so the question comes up a lot or the information I see dietitians provide out there is, yes, you can use it every calendar year. Yes, you can use it if you switch insurance. Technically, no, right? So we always want to go back to the definition of the actual code, and it is an initial assessment, okay? So the question I want you to ask yourself is a really easy one. Is this an initial assessment, right? Not did the patient switch insurance companies, not is it a new calendar year, not is it a new fiscal year for certain insurance plans that say start in July, right? Is this an initial assessment? Or the other way I look at it is, is it an initial assessment for a new diagnosis? So for example, say you were working with a patient who had hypertension and was overweight. And so for a really long period of time, they were one of your regular clients. They now get diagnosed, say, with celiac disease, right? Not super common in their adulthood, but let's just use that as an example. Or they now get diagnosed with diabetes, in their, you know, you know, further into your relationship with them. And then you are probably more than likely going to do a whole new assessment, right? You're going to gather some new labs. You're going to be talking about new medications. You're going to probably get some progress notes from those docs who maybe that patient is seeing, right? So that would be a scenario where it would merit a new initial visit because we are assessing a new condition, okay? But with that being said, it is not a chronological thing like every year. It is not an insurance thing if they switch. Why most dietitians love to use 97802, and I'm not mad at it, we all know it pays generally a, a significant amount more than a 97803, right? So it's usually like it could be anywhere from 5 to $10 more. And that's why dietitians like to ask the question. But I'm going to answer the question. And so you guys never need to go any further. And the answer is no, unless you are providing an initial visit or an initial assessment or assessing a new condition that would require a whole different set of interventions, then we're not going to use 97802. So hopefully that helps. That should really <laughs> answer the question for anybody and everyone, um, but always happy to help if I can. 